And we begin tonight with continuing coverage out of San Jacinto County. An incident with a forklift caused today's explosion at an industrial plant, and it sent workers running for safety. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm Marangeli Lopez. And I'm Brennan Gurley. Only one person we reported injured is thankfully expected to be okay. That fire is out now, but there are still plenty of questions. That's right. Our Jose Alonso spent some time speaking with authorities and community members. He has the latest out the door and it was just the smoke. The smoke was, I mean, it was way up there, you know, but it was still kind of spooky. Haley Newton and her family live right off of FM 1127 and says it was around 815 Wednesday morning when they started hearing a strange sound outside her home. Uh, we started hearing some like banging noises and it just sounded like dump trucks, like one of our neighbors might have been dumping rocks or something, so I didn't think anything of it, but it kept going. A fire broke out at a chemical plant named Sound Resources around 8 o'clock and multiple first responders were immediately at the scene. Livingston firefighters were calling for multiple units and foam to put out the flames. We need people in route. Also, uh, oh Lord, you can see it from Goodrich here. It's a big deal. San Jacinto County Sheriff Greg Capers also describes the scene from early in the day. When I first arrived, a big plume, I mean a large plume of black smoke, uh, probably five, six hundred feet in the air, uh, three, four hundred foot wide, uh, just rolling. And then there was fireballs shooting up through it. Um, but it was told to me that nothing was toxic, nothing was uh, would hurt you by inhaling it, that it was just flammable. The president of the chemical plant says the explosion was caused by a, quote, forklift incident. He says a forklift operator noticed chemicals leaking from a container, and when he went to lift the container up, he noticed a fire. All day, experts have been checking the air quality in the area to determine if it was safe. TCEQ, they are the experts at this, and they have been running machines uh, further north and further south in, in, in all directions to measure the air quality, and so far they have said everything is uh, copacetic with the way it should be. Residents within a five mile radius of the explosion were told to shelter in place. For Haley, it was a way at home without power. That got kind of tough, uh, no Wi-Fi or anything and our cell services isn't great down there. But, you know, just looking into it as much as we could and we were trying to get updates um, to see if we needed to evacuate or anything like that. But I mean, it, we stayed pretty calm for the most part. I think <laughs> it wasn't too bad. And San Jacinto County, Jose Alonso, CBS 19. Well, the sheriff's office recently announced on social media that the cleanup process has begun at the plant and that it will be extensive. At this moment, the air has been determined to be non-toxic and there is no danger to the community.